uh, remember begin at the beginning of the analysis you will need to switch on the double beam UV spectrophotometer as well as this uh, controller okay before analysis okay after start after the instrument has been started up okay it will it will come to this main page here where you can select the different modes of measurements for today uh, at the beginning of this uh, analysis we will have to determine the lambda max value so we need to go to mode 4 under spectrum okay so we will select 4 okay before we do the lambda max value we have to the, uh, set the parameters according to your SOP in this case we will our measurement mode will be absorbance uh, scanning rate scanning range scanning range will be 1100 nanometer to 200 nanometer uh, recording range will be zero absorbance to two absorbance scanning speed fast number of scan will be one and display mode will be overlay um, yeah if there's any deviation of the uh, parameters from the SOP you just set according to what you learn from single beam spectrophotometer okay now uh, to do to do the lambda max to determine the lambda max value we need to do the baseline correction first okay so we will put in our RO water which is our blank okay wipe the cuvette and then we will place in place it in in the reference uh, sample holder okay this is a reference sample holder and these are the sample holder reference sample holder these are the sample holder after you have placed your reference blank I mean the R water to the reference blank holder sample holder you also have to place another uh, R O water blank on holder number one sample holder number one okay then after you cap this close this cover uh, ensure that the light is actually toggled to sample cell one okay and after which you will press F1 to do a baseline correction okay after the baseline correction has been completed okay we will have to take out the cuvette okay from the sample cell which is located at number one okay after we have done that uh, place the middle range standard solution middle range concentration standard solution okay into sample cell one holder sample cell holder number one okay and then cover with a cap and we will do a scan by pressing start after we press start we are actually uh, doing a scan through the spectrum to find the lambda max value so in this case the scan has been done so there's a spectrum generated okay to find the uh, lambda max value we need to press F2 data process Okay. Uh, then press number three. Okay, for the peak table, and this will generate the table showing the absorbance value for the corresponding wavelength. So in this case, the highest absorbance value is actually zero point one three nine. So the lambda max value will be six two nine nanometer. Mm. Okay. Once done, we will go to. Okay, we will return. 
back to the main 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 page okay once uh, once you have determined the lambda max value you will actually go back to the main screen of the spectrum mode and then uh, you can press mode but once you press mode you will come out this uh, window stating current data not saved do you want to continue you just indicate ok f3 then you go back to the main screen okay which is a list of measurement modes okay so now we can actually use uh, photometric modes for your measurement of the samples but the way I mean the operation method will still be the same as single bin UV visible spectrophotometer so we will move on to talk about quantitation mode instead of photometric mode so you can refer back to your single bin UV visible spectrophotometer uh, video for this measurement mode, photometric mode ok now we will move on to measure using quantitation mode so press 5 ok once you have pressed 5 quantitation mode mm. you will come to this main screen mm. same thing as single bin UV visible spectrophotometer ok there's item number 1 that indicates uh, the number of wavelength that you use for your measurement so in this case one lambda indicates one wavelength okay that that, that, that will be measured okay then for so you can actually choose number one and it will tell you this variable selection like for example this one is one lambda means one wavelength selected two lambda two wavelength selected three lambda three wavelength selected and some dva derivatives derivatives okay so yeah we are not using that we will just use number one and then indicate the wavelength that we want okay so in this case we will use the lambda max value that we have uh, determined uh, earlier in spectrum mode okay so it's two six two nine okay enter after you have done that under method which is item number two we will select multiple multi-point uh, calibration uh, therefore uh, there will be a selection of number of standards so for today we only have oh we have four standards okay including our zeros uh, blank so uh, no need to change it will be four standards okay we will go number two to do the uh, parameter settings okay so we go to number two okay so in this case we will select multiple point calibration number three because there is total of four standard including the blank so indicate four enter and then for order the number of order will be one and then do we want to intercept the, the origin yes so indicate yes Okay, so number two will be yes. Okay, once you have done that, okay, now for item number three, number of measurement remain as one. Uh, okay, I think you need to still key in it one. Then for the unit, okay, number four, you have to select the respective units according to your SOP so just press 2 in this case okay once you've done that uh, you will select press start okay you press start and in this case you can actually key in the concentration of the respective standard solution so in this case I'll key in 0 which is my standard one the blank followed by the second standard 250 ppm and the third standard 500 ppm and the last standard 1000 ppm okay once I've done that okay I need to actually press 2 okay to actually command the machine to measure the cells okay so I have to press 2 okay and 
before I do the respective measurement, I will need to do an auto zero. Okay, using my blank. Okay, which is my RO water in this case. So I need to take out whatever sample that's inside for slot sample cell one. And then cover with the cover. Okay, and press auto zero. Okay, once it's auto zero, okay, you will press start to measure your blank, which is zero lah. Huh? Okay, once you have done that, okay, you will take out your okay the sample cells. Okay, the sample from the sample cell. Okay, and place in your first, your second standard, which is two hundred and fifty ppm. Cover and press start. Okay, once you've done that, okay, take out the cover. Okay, insert in your seconds, the third standard, which is 400 ppm, in slot 1, okay, in slot 1 of your sample holder, cover with a cap, and press start. Okay, after you've done that, okay, same thing, remove the sample cuvette from the sample holder, okay. Place in your last standard solution, which is 1000 ppm, into sample holder number one. Cover and press start. Okay, once you have done that, okay, you can view your curve, calibration curve, under F1. Okay, to check your linearity of your standard curve okay if you want the equation you can actually refer to the equation here and the r value okay under f4 equation okay to return back okay to return back to the curve or return back to the measurement you can press another time return okay now to measure our unknown we will press f3 for sample measurement so you need to take out the standards okay we will wipe the cuvette same thing slot in the unknown and cover press f3 for sample measurement okay and then you start okay the reading will be captured for your unknown okay and the concentration will be stated over there with reference to your calibration curve uh, yeah uh, this completes the measurements okay yes. instead of using one sample measurement at a time we can actually slot in all our samples okay, into the sample compartment or sample holder mm. as follow arranging it from lower concentration to higher concentration mm. over here the last sample holder here right contain our unknown so we can actually measure it uh, I mean we can just slot in our all our sample and then measure it at once okay so after you have slot in your sample according to the from lowest concentration to higher concentration okay you can cap it and then close your uh, close your instrument and then you can choose number one by toggling this red button mm -hmm. okay so in this case I'm going to measure uh, sample one cell before measurement, okay, we need to do an auto zero. We know that your uh, sample cell holder one 
contain your blank which is a zero concentration standard solution so we will do an O2 zero at cell one okay once the O2 zero is complete there will be beep sound okay and then you can actually do a measurement for standard number one which is a blank by pressing start okay after you have done that okay press this red knob to toggle to cell 2 containing your standard number 2 and then you press start measurements will be done yeah. and shown on the screen okay. Re oh, repeat okay repeat this action for standard 3 and 4 okay so in this case I will press the red button from the controller to toggle from standard 2 to standard 3 and then I will press start okay and the absorbance will be stated okay toggle the red button again press the red button again to toggle from standard 3 to 4 and then press start to measure the standard solution for number 4 okay once done to measure the unknown Okay, we need to return back to the main screen and press F3 for sample measurement. Mm. Your unknown sample is located at sample cell holder 6. Mm. So you need to toggle the red button. Press the red button to toggle the red light from cell 4 to cell 6. So you press okay, to cell 6. Then you press F3 and press start. Measurement will be done and stated as on the screen as shown.